Hello, this is Alyssa with Patriot Marketing. Um, we had reached out to you guys earlier uh, today, and I think we got a hold of Andrea. Um, so we promised this free custom video, and um, anyways, here it is. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I just wanted to show you guys a few tips that you could use to really maximize your traffic online. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. First of all, I wanted to point out a couple of things that I really liked about your guys' website. Um, there's this click to call button here. That is how, really, really great to have on a website as well as the get, get a free quote. They, those are really good to have because they actually help with converting people over as clients. I also liked your guys' uh, pictures here um, that show some of the work that you've done um, and just uh, a lot of different stuff here. Um, and also like just all these pictures are very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Um, so something I noticed though is there wasn't a whole lot of, uh, um, a lot of content. Uh, and what I mean, what, what I mean by content, uh, content is literally anything I can highlight, whether it be pictures or text. In this case, I'd just be talking about the text. You guys have a lot of pictures of your work. Um, so the reason why you want a lot of content is so you can rank for a lot of different keywords. Keywords, for example, home remodeling San Diego, kitchen kitchen remodeling San Diego, all that uh, service keywords that you could be ranking for. Um, it has a volume, a search volume of 1.6 thousand per month for your area and the uh, field of work that you are in that you are not um, being found for because when people search for these keywords, they are you aren't coming up because you don't have that within your content. Um, so in order to put yourself into a position to be found, you would need to have a website with a lot of content containing those keywords that you want and need to be found for. I would even go as far as since you have so many pictures, saving these images as uh, some of those keywords like kitchen remodel. Um, San Diego and then re-uploading it to your website um, so then that image would actually count as content towards your website it's a really sneaky way to just put a keyword onto your website and not without actually putting it into your text so it's that's just something that you could probably do um, that's uh, my first tip would just be to add more of that content and keywords because you know, the reason why it's so super important is because when Google crawls your site, um, they not only see that you have that content, but that keyword verbatim within your content. And it allows you to rank faster and more efficiently because Google feels like the more content that you have, the more likely you are to be an expert in your field. And at the end of the day, their whole goal is that when someone searches, they get the information that they need. So long story short, the more content you have, the more likely you are to be found because Google wants to ensure the people searching on their platform gets that information quickly and efficiently. So they will be putting the people that they find to be more ex more of an expert in their field towards the top. So that's just something to keep in mind. My second tip would be to build upon this Google business profile. Um, it would be really giving yourself a chance to get as much traffic as possible. Um, to your website and what I what I mean by that is is when people search for any given keyword um, I'm actually going to start on this tab it's not your field of work or the area in which you work um, but it does contain one of the couple of things that I'm actually going to talk about first um, and I want you to know what those look like so if we take a look here you have these local ads here they are at the top um, these capture the people who click on the very first thing that they see. Um, the local ads people like a lot because Google they're they're yeah, they're Google guaranteed up to a certain dollar amount. Um, so if something happens or something goes wrong, um, they trust the people who use this. They trust that Google will make it right monetarily. Um, they'd be great for you as well because they have they they convert at a very high rate. Um, so when you put your mouse over these local ads, they have the number of years in which you are in business and also the company's phone number right there. So 
when someone clicks on that number and they're already taking the time out of their day to call you, they are more likely to convert over as a client. So this is just something to keep in mind. Um, the Google ads themselves, which are typically located right under the local ads, um, they are a lot cheaper um, and they have a lower conversion rate. Um, however, because of their location on the page being under the local ads at the top, they, uh, they give you a chance to be seen by a lot of different people. Um, I don't have an example of a Google ad, a regular Google ad as it will, uh, they aren't showing up in your general keywords or with the, uh, with this particular keyword search. So, um, I do apologize for not having that sample, but I'm going to go over to this tab because the rest of what I'm going to talk about is located here. Um, so you have this Google map pack, um, here, um, the people who search this way, I am one of them. Um, they want to see a company that is local and in the area. I personally like to see how far I'm going to be driving if I have to travel to the business. Uh, you know, I like to see where they're at. Uh, so these people here um, that are here, these businesses here, they're going to pull up to 80% of that traffic. So if we're looking at a keyword, Kitchen Remodeling San Diego, California. Kitchen Remodeling San Diego, California, with a search volume of 250 per month. 80% um, is going to go to that top, those top three there. Um, so you're looking at 200 going straight to your competitors here. Um, and unfortunately, there goes that traffic. Um, another way in which you can pull traffic to your website would be to rank organically. And so ranking organically, the concept is pretty simple. The higher you're ranking or organically, the uh, more uh, traffic you're going to pull to your website. So these people here are doing better down than the people down here. And people rarely go to that second page of Google, if not at all. So um, it's really important to uh, make sure you're ranking high enough to where you're on that first page of Google so you can actually get that traffic to your website. So um, these are all super important. There are all ways in which uh, they convert people over as clients and bring traffic to your website. Um, they, are all, they are all great to keep in mind. Um, but I'm going to move on to my third and final tip, and that actually does involve ranking organically. Um, so we're just going to get a little bit more technical. To rank organically, you do need to build up the uh, strength of your website. Um, so I have you pulled up here in my little tool that shows where you're at in your online presence. So uh, with with ranking organically and building up the strength of your website, in order to do that, you need to add backlinks and referring domains. So backlinks, unfortunately, are not all recreated equal. You have poor quality ones and good quality ones. You want a majority of the good quality ones because those poor quality ones are unfortunately not going to do anything for you and they are a waste of time and money. As for the referring domains, the best way to describe what that is, is for example, if uh, you did some services for somebody and they started blogging about what you did for them and they have a link in their blog back to your website, that would count as a referring domain. And those referring domains, uh, uh, they pack a lot of power. So the higher, the more power you have, the higher these numbers are going to be. So generally with remodeling and, and contracting, um, we want to see them in the 20s, 30s, 40s range. You want to as high of a number as possible and at a one-to-one -one ratio. You are almost at a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, you're in the 20s range. Um, you're, you have 2.33 thousand backlinks, have 319 referring domains, ranking for 88 organic keywords and generating an organic traffic of 39. Not too bad, but let's take a look at one of your competitors. All right, now I chose these guys, uh, Lars Remodeling and Design, because they are in this Google Map Pack here. Um, 
and they're ranking organically here. So I figured that they'd have to have some pretty good numbers. Um, they're also here for this keyword. I use two different keywords and they're in that Google map pack. So they, they're all over the place. And I think they're, they're your, that they are your number one com competitors. So here is their website. Um, they have, why isn't it showing anything? Okay. So my computer is not showing as much as I would like it to. This is super annoying. I don't like this. Go away. Um, so, uh, yeah, they have some here. They don't have very much content, so they could improve upon that. But anyways, I just wanted to show you where they're at. So they have, they're almost at a one-to-one -one ratio as well. They are in the forties range though, and they have 8.07 thousand backlinks, 3.12, yeah, 3.12 thousand referring domains, 3.1 thousand uh, 3 uh, organic keywords is what they have, and they're generating an organic traffic of 2.6 thousand. That is a lot. Um, so this is where they're at, um, and this is where you're at. Um, if we take a look at the organic keywords that they are ranking for, um, they're ranking for a lot of those particular uh, service keywords. I'm pretty sure you got those two. You have your name at the top. You want to actually be ranking more so for those. Uh, um, yeah, you're ranking for your name quite a bit, actually. But you, you want more of those service keywords because when someone is actually looking to remodel, they're going to look for those service, service, wow, service keywords like remodeling kitchen cabinets, for example. Um, they're going to be looking for things like that, not the company name. So it's really important to take that into consideration. I would really focus on that content and keywords, adding that in, especially since you're ranking primarily for your name here. Um, you know, I would take that into consideration, the content and keywords. Also adding more of those backlinks and referring domains as well. Um, you know, without that content and without the referring domains and backlinks, you're really missing out on how much traffic would be, is going to be coming to your website and the amount of business you're going to be generating for that. Um, so I hope this has been helpful and informative. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, um, feel free to reach out. I'd love to chat with you and help you out in any way that we can. Either my husband or I would love to get in touch with you in whatever time fits best for you. So with that, you have a great day and God bless.